Next up, Standard Chartered Bank to launch crypto trading for institutional investors, sources say. And we covered this yesterday where the CEO had talked about that cryptocurrencies were in inevitability. It was going to happen, so he just couldn't see any way around it. And I was like, well, that's kind of interesting. Another another big banker uh, talking about cryptocurrency. So, uh, you know, we'll, we won't hear anything from him for weeks, right? Well, very next day, here we are. Same guy, same, uh, there's another source who's saying, nope, uh, there's a lot of things going on. So what's happening? Well, Standard Charters, well, first of all, if you don't know, Standard Chartered is a British multinational banking and financial service company headquartered in London, operates a network in more than 1,200 branches and outlets across more than 70 countries, employs around 87,000 people. So it's a pretty big player in the banking industry, we can say. When they talk to other banks and, they try, and they're starting to get them into the game, their voice carries a lot of weight. And what they've done uh, is they've taken five of the biggest OTC or over-the-counter traders and four exchanges and will include an Ethereum-based settlement token for their trading group, which is pretty impressive. Uh, the firm involved in the custody and training projects include LMAX and ErisX. So Standard Chartered plus five of the biggest traders in digital assets and forex exchanges are about to get this new model started. Says a source, says a source, I think the first test trade will be next month and I'd say it'll end up involving the 10 biggest exchanges in digital. So that's pretty fast. I mean, if you think about it, banks are not known for innovation. They're really not known about getting uh, their their tail and gear. And here they are, you know, they've already met with people, they've already done all these things, and they're going to actually do this by next month. Now, I will just say this. Nothing happens that fast. Nothing happens to where, like, you had a meeting, you're like, let's do it tomorrow. This has been going on for a very long time. I can guarantee that. How long? I have no idea. I don't go to those meetings, but uh, I can tell you that uh, these bankers that are getting together, they know where things are going and they want to be a part of this ride. So this was the interesting part about settlement tokens. So the settlement token used in Standard Charter's crypto trading platform will be based on an ERC-20 standard. So they're going to create a whole new token, obviously, but they chose uh, the Ethereum platform. And it's like I've said, if you don't know what to invest in, just invest in Ethereum because everything's built on that. And here's another another uh, key factor that uh, bankers are like, you know what? We don't really know what's going on, so we'll just build on ERC-20, ethereum base. Crazy. A lot of people were pushing to use Hyperledger, Corda, but we have specifically gone for something the native crypto community are comfortable with, the sources said. We are building our own token of fiat collateral and hoping that will become the equivalent of Tether. If they could become the equivalent of Tether, that is a huge market cap. Uh, let's see if they can do it. Except the tokenized collateral or money will be held in the trading bank account of a proper bank, like a standard chartered, a JP Morgan, a Deutsche Bank. And this is the problem with banks. They only know how to do things their way, which kind of makes sense, right? I mean, if if you're an old institution, you're like, well, we do it this way, and we and we and we make settlements, and and, and we have accounts, and there's physical processes, that works in the in the old world, right? But for what it is right now, I think they're kind of missing the boat about what it is. But again, banks aren't really known for innovation. Let's be honest. So if this works, I mean, so much the better. But I think it's going to fall very flat. So Standard Chart has been working on this for a long time, obviously, and is generally working with other giants in the crypto space. I wonder who that could be, Coinbase. This is extremely serious and not some proof of concept. They have passed all the checks and compliance and are bringing in some exciting names. Big banks who once shunned crypto are fast warming to the idea because they don't want to be blockbustered with Spain's largest lender, BBVA, said to be launching a digital asset custody and trading offering out of Switzerland early next year. And this really just plays into the part of what we heard uh, the czar of OCC, the Office of the Comptroller of Currency, Brian Brooks, where he stated this little nugget. New regulations by, by the end of the Trump term? I think you're going to see a lot of good news for crypto by the end of the Trump term. Some of it's going to have to do with banks connecting to blockchain. Some of it's going to be more clarity around the nature of these assets. So believe me, there's going to be very positive messages coming out. What he just said right there. We're going to have a lot of good news and it's going to be about banks and it's going to be about the process or what cryptocurrencies are and how we define them. So he pretty much just gave you right there. And he said this is going to happen by the end of the Trump term. And we are coming up to that. Unless you believe he's going to win win some kind of like a uh, lawsuit and uh, he's going to get everything overturned. Sure. Maybe. I don't know. But uh, I mean, the time frame still stands. All right. So three to four weeks. And that's what's going on. And I could just, I mean, 
if we kind of put the pieces together, I mean, everything that, that's that's happening, I mean, gold losing, losing out to Bitcoin, you got the micro strategies, the big institutions coming in, the Drucken Millers, the Paul Tudor Jones, the TD Ameritrades, the Fidelity Digital Assets. I mean, you can kind of just see what's going on in the background. Now we got all these banks who are really, in my opinion, they're FOMOing in. And I think they are the ones that are going to drive adoption of cryptocurrency. In the beginning, it was all, you know, anarchists and libertarians. And then it became people like us, the speculators. Now I think we've got that third phase, which is these institutional investors. I think they're going to pull us over the big hump and put us into the stratosphere. I could be wrong. Let me know what you think in the comments section. Let's move on to our next piece about uh, the flare airdrop.